you swear that the testimony you are about to give is the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. You're sworn in. Each of you is now under oath, and you may now give up to a five-minute summary of any written statement that you may have, uh, beginning uh, with uh, Mr. Ebers. Although I would like, more than you know, to answer the questions that you and your colleagues have about WorldCom, I've been instructed by my counsel not to testify based on my Fifth Amendment constitutional rights. When all of the activities at WorldCom are fully aired, and when I get the opportunity, and I'm very much looking forward to it, to explain my actions in a setting that will not compromise my ability to defend myself in the legal proceedings arising out of the recent events, I believe that no one will conclude that I engaged in any criminal or fraudulent conduct during my tenure at WorldCom. Chair, is it correct that you recognize the... Uh, I have no prepared statement. Based upon the advice of counsel, I respectfully will not answer questions based upon my Fifth Amendment right to the United States Constitution. I ask that the, re the record uh, be entered for my counsel's uh, written letter this morning. If the reports are true that Mr. Sullivan and others at WorldCom improperly transferred... Let me state clearly and without any qualification that prior to June 21, 2002, when Anderson was first contacted about this matter, neither I nor any of, to my knowledge, nor any of my team members had any inkling that these transfers had been made. In fact, in connection with our quarterly reviews and our year-end audit, the Anderson audit team specifically asked WorldCom senior financial management. While different companies dealt with a changed market reality in a variety of ways, none has yet shown the audacity to commit fraud on the scale that has been alleged here. At the same time, I'm also aware that the concurrent investigations by the SEC and the Department of Justice will continue. There is an urgent need for strong and reasoned legislation to restore the market confidence that has been squandered by greed, incompetence, fraud, and weak regulation. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. The, the issue of the year is moral clarity.